What's up, everybody? You're listening and watching to, watching to, you're watching listening to, I like and that. watching, I like that. listening to and watching, watching Blurred to. Empire. I'm still getting used to that. Watching to. But uh, yeah. yeah, this is episode 12, <laughs> yes. season two, because <clears throat> we're in a new year. <clears throat> Last year was season one, yeah. and this year I'm calling season two just because it's a fresh start. Mm -hmm. It's 2020. Mm -hmm. That's a good I, example. I like that. Just do that. Yeah. Put call on it. Exactly. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So my name's Royce, co-host of the podcast, and... Who I'm Sinbad. Oh, really? And I'm sitting on a pillow because my upper body's so short <laughs> that I come off this pillow, so I'll be shorter than myself. This is the only time yeah. where I actually uh, yeah. am taller than him. So I'm I, sitting I'm, on this pillow for I love it. When, I love it when we're sitting. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Um, but yeah, tell them, tell them what Blurred Empire is about. Blurred Empire about, you know, it started off we thought it was going to just be technology, but this is it. We're Blurred, which is a black nerd. We don't just do technology, we do music. Mm -hmm. We love life, we get married, we have kids. So our whole life is blurred. <laughs> yeah, so so this is just just life. Our whole this life is just is blurred. Blurred, blurred is just a game of life. Blurred, blurred is just a game of life. But we call it blurred <laughs> empire because no matter what we're caught in, we're blurred. Yes. No matter what's going on, it's blurred. But we do love technology. We do. We live. We technology. do love technology, and we, we are a little blurry. Yeah, we are, and we we're going to talk yeah. about a little bit of technology in this yeah. too, which is and talk about almost a police beat down. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? A technology beat down at CES. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. man. Wow. Got stories. CES got CES. Got we stories. got stories. Wish we had taken some names on that. Wish I know, yeah, we should got a, a picture, a badge, something. Always, but you know, it's it, it threw you off. It threw me off. But we'll get into yeah. that. We'll get yeah. into that first. Um, where are we right now? We are in because Miami. <laughs> this is not our normal setup. Obviously. We are in Miami, Florida, this, and this that's right. This is not. You know yeah. what? We were testing some anchor. We'll get with you a little later. But anchor. We were trying to do this with the Anchor Podcast app. We're now just going back to using the audio off the yeah, camera. Yeah, I got a mic, a road yeah. mic connected to the I camera. I got this in my ear. I don't know why, because we're not using this. <laughs> we're not using it. But I like blurry stuff. <laughs> so I had it made, so I'm going to put it back in yeah. the pouch. But we're in Miami, Florida. I'm doing the uh, Miami Improv in Doral, Florida, which is right outside Miami. Been here for three days. Royce flew in. It's very precarious because his wife is pregnant, about to have a baby. Yeah, I shouldn't yeah. be here. I should, I should not be here. But, you know, had, but it, had to come in. Get Blurs. stuff. <laughs> Take chances. Um, but no, because we I had to shoot some content. Uh, yeah. just had some cool content for On the Road with Sinbad. <coughs> I haven't shot anything in a while. So if you guys aren't hip to that, uh, go to his YouTube channel, um, The World According to Sinbad, where we have a series called On the Road yeah. with Sinbad, um, where we literally fall on, on the road. So He's about to be locked down. See? about to be locked down. So I, gotta, to I gotta because record as much content as once possible. Once that baby comes, I might not ever see Royce again. <laughs> it might be Blurred Empire minus one. Exactly. Don't so, mind me spraying this. It's the best stuff. Entertainment Secret. Oh. Y'all should know this is good. Lost my voice. Already done what? One, two, three. Three shows. Five shows. One, two, three, four, five. No. Thursday, yeah. Friday, yeah. yeah. The four shows. Four shows. Tonight so will be the fifth show. Fifth show. Because you had two Friday, mm -hmm. two yesterday, and then one today. So I'm trying to get that blurred voice together. Okay, go. right there, Gotta yeah. get back. Gotta get back. Yeah. So this has uh, apparently become a travel podcast. Um, yeah, so that's well, what it, it looks like. <laughs> it should be sometimes. Yeah, it should be. It should. Be. I mean, I think actually it could yeah. be cool if we did this a little bit more, maybe later down the road. You know what? Because you'll be home. This is what we're going to do. We're going to test different software if you got some suggestions please uh -huh. hit us up we've tried to think something more high tech we're trying to find this there's very high tech and there's low high tech medium always works best because high tech sometimes you don't have all the stuff you need it won't work for you yeah low tech lack time and you can't hear everything that's literally what we were trying to do we yeah were testing the uh, anchor app to actually record this podcast that's right that's how he sounded right just nothing just huge delay that was <laughs> so we so right now what we're doing is well, if you guys have tested some things with, with audio and video, well, we, we love to have our video. So if you can help us with some stuff, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at a couple of things and we'll let you know how it works for us too. Yeah, because this could be cool to do. Anchor. <laughs> yeah, working Anchor, the audio Anchor lab, app. bro. If you guys know yeah. what we're talking about, yeah. we use this app called Anchor, yeah. uh, which is how we distribute. We put it on Anchor and then yes. Anchor distributed it to uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, yep. Google, Spotify, all that stuff. So if you guys are looking to do podcasts, Definitely check out Anchor. They, good Anchor, they just make it, it's just easy. They make it yeah, way too easy. Yeah, there's supposed to Podbean and everything. There's a yeah, bunch of stuff but, out there. But Anchor, we like, except when, we except when you're trying to record. There's a feature yeah. called Record with Friends. Yeah. We're, we were having some issues. Didn't It could work on your phone. didn't work on the iPad. Long story short. Maybe we're not friends. This is, maybe that's how they find true maybe friends. Not, maybe not. Maybe that's how they find true friends. Know. But it didn't work out. But this is how we're doing it. Yeah. But going back to uh, us being in Miami, first thing, yeah. just I think the people need to know you just been on the road traveling nonstop. Yes. For what, like thirty plus years? Thirty plus years. I'm I'm thirty, about to turn thirty-one. And how how old are you? I'm sixty-three. Sixty-three, 
And but you know I, what I do? I, I cannot. I start claiming 64. Right, right around March. Exactly. I'm I not 31 yet, but I'm, I might as well just say I'm 31. Yeah, they're learning. But I just have to say, even when I was in my 20s, in my prime, I could not hang with you. The amount, like, the, the amount of energy that goes into just traveling, like, I don't yeah. think people realize. Is it? The, the amount of travel, like, traveling, like, the late night flights, the driving, which is why I wanted, we, we started the On the Road with Sinbad, just so people yeah. can see how crazy it is just being on the road. And it's not as glamorous as people think. It's, you know what? The life, once you get where you're going, is glamorous. Mm -hmm. Getting is not glamorous. Unless yeah. you're like Kevin Hart and Eddie and them, they're flying jets. And they're oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hustle, I'm hustling. hustling. <laughs> Nobody work like me. Why don't you fly southwest, Kevin? <laughs> fly southwest, see what that's like. Exactly. So uh, my thing is, okay, we flew in, early morning flight. Either way you lose. If it's a midnight flight, mm -hmm. you're worn out. If it's an early morning flight, you're worn out. Unless you go to bed the night before at 7 p.m. And no one does that. I usually wash until 2 a.m. Right. My flight's at 8 a.m. I get an hour of sleep, then I pack. This year, mm -hmm. I'm going to pack two days out. So yeah. I can say I, I am. I mean, that'd be good. But then I'll probably watch Netflix. Probably. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> I watch Netflix. So I still have better sleep. Yeah. And Netflix sleep is better than they pack in your luggage sleep. Right. But for me, like just seeing, like seeing how you how you handle everything, you've always seemed to just be able to just go, just nonstop. You're yeah. always at a hundred. For me, like after that first flight, that first show, I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, yeah, I, I let him get some I rest. Need, I need to stop. I let him get and some rest. That I'm first over. Night. I'm like, I'll be somewhere passed out, but you just keep going. You keep going. Or if you do pass out, like uh, Maria was telling us, huh. um, she was saying how you passed out on the couch yesterday right before your show. But then but as soon as example, your name got called. Here's an example of what happened. You'll be talking. Go ahead. We're doing this interview. And this is what happened. When I was at backstage at the show with the sound man talking to me. So, Sinbad, so we're going to bring you up in about uh, 20 minutes. And um, and I faded out on it. <laughs> exactly. And I just faded and out. And just fade out. But as soon as they call your name and like, welcome to the stage, Sinbad. And then you're just like, huh? What? What? And you jump on the stage yeah. and it's like you never were. Hour and a half, two hour yeah. show. And then I get a text message on my iPhone. Dad, we're tired. We get off stage. Yes, I literally, yeah, yesterday I texted him. My, my, my wrist started uh, we vibrating. Were, you were on stage until one in the morning. He was on stage yeah, until one in the morning. Stupid. And I had to literally text him because he had his Apple Watch on. And I was like, hopefully he can feel the vibration. I did. And I texted him. I was and like, I knew what you please said. stop. My son's right. Like, and that's what please I ended up doing. Stop. Because of that, I looked at my watch because I'm going to tell you something. All you clubs and, and, and venues that hire me, in my rider, it says, have a clock on stage. <laughs> Yes. Because if I can't see it, I don't know it. I don't like checking my watch. That means you're telling people you're trying to get off. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is have a clock on stage and mentally, I, okay, I know I got 15, 20 more minutes. Yeah. But once I restart, I'll That's get ready to get off and I restart. I, I don't get off that stage. No, because you can just go for yeah. hours. Because, I mean, you don't write your, you don't write stuff down. No. You just literally just spit it off the dome. Well, and I'm, I'm from hieroglyphic age. I'm so old. <laughs> There was nothing to record on, so you put it on stone, and you chisel it, and you right. have people. <laughs> I've actually yeah. seen him do this. Yes, yeah. exactly. Hieroglyphics. <laughs> Hieroglyphics. So that's old school and, way. And the thing is, too, there will be moments where, because we can hear like the audience backstage and all that stuff, uh -huh. we we can hear like you um, introducing like a, a, a kind of like a closing joke. It's yeah. Like, all right, cool, cool. This is his yeah. closing joke, and then all of a sudden. Someone will like, or like, you'll say something else, and the crowd will just like erupt, and then I feel like that just gives you more energy. So you go like another. It's like a minutes. volcano. I'm yeah, to... and we were like, oh, why did they laugh at that joke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, it's. But you know what? At the end of the day, I love doing stand up. Yeah. I want to get people those money's worth. At the end of the day, you know, and I usually get off when I start seeing everybody leaving because they're worn out, or I actually have people say, I have to go home. Mm -hmm. That's usually a sign. Yeah. And yeah. so we had a, um, um, some security kind of come backstage last night and tell us, they're like, this is the hilarious, most hilarious thing. There's this couple. It's like, they, it's like, it's an older couple. They are knocked out in, like in the back of, no. of the room, but not because like they were bored or anything. He said they were literally, they were knocked out. They would like hear a joke and wake up and be like, ha ha ha. I see that. No, I, just I, like, joke, were, I watched They were it. struggling trying the to stay second away. shot, <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Oh, man. So that's where I'm just like, yeah. we, we need to, everyone needs to go to sleep. No, we, uh, you're right. The thing was, like, we flew in 8 o'clock, no, 8 a.m. flight, 7 a.m. flight, get to the airport, went to Melbourne, Florida first, got there, had to do radio. So I got right, there. Right, yes. Yeah. I really, I really didn't, no, I didn't get a chance to sleep. I got to Melbourne. You get there about, what, 2, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Go get sleep before you know it. There's a show at 7. You, you, you might get our sleep, you might get nothing. Right. So we went right to the hotel. Uh, we got to just in time to get ready and then actually go do the show. Yeah. After the show, 
we jumped in the car. No, we're dead tired already, mm -hmm. and drove three hours to Miami because I had to do radio in Miami. So drove right for, So Chase drove. Chase, uh, Chase, Chase Anthony is, is another career way, so I'm wearing him out. He's 30 <laughs> years younger than me. So we get there, and I say, he's done. I say, he's not going to go to radio with me. Right. So we get there. I do radio for Miami, so I don't get a chance to sleep because now I got two shows that night. Yeah. So I fell out. I, I jumped in bed about 2, 3 in the morning. I fell out that night. Just to I didn't turn. I didn't turn... You know, Netflix, anything. Yeah. Up. I just jumped into bed. Just to wake up and do it all yeah. over again. Then we went. Main thing is try to get that breakfast. Yes. And got you to, and I got to get had an interesting trying to get the Waffle House breakfast. Yeah, we we uh yeah. we were driving around. We were trying original to Original Pancake, original, yeah, pancake, original house. pancake house. Yeah. We were trying to find breakfast at four PM. Yes. Mind you. Uh, yes. four PM because seven o'clock, seven thirty show. Out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Four PM right before a seven thirty show. We were driving around. Pancake House said they closed in like 20 minutes. Yeah, on the on the app. On the app. On the yeah, app. and so we drove down there, and then they were already closed. I guess apparently we got there like around four, but apparently they closed at three. So lied to the us. The time in the app was wrong. We ended up, we ended up going to the uh, Deli Lane, which is great. Oh yeah, in South found Florida. another place. Yeah. After I made a couple of bad turns, I turned left. You know, yeah. you think it's a left turn lane, but oh. it's a left turn lane for people here. So that I was jumped really in that lane. I panicked. I went back over the medium. Went down. Made a U turn. As we left, we realized there was a cop. We almost died. Like we almost times. died. I almost got arrested. Yeah. The cop saw me and just said, you can't be high because you can't be that bad. Right. <laughs> you can't drive that bad. But we got our breakfast at yeah. 4 o'clock, entering the evening time, yeah. and then came back, changed, went to your show. And it was fun. Yeah, it started about, yeah. what, half hour late? Oh, yeah, yeah. Minutes late, yeah. I was, I was, once you're tired, I'm learning at this age, it'll just be late. I'll take my time. Sometimes I can't beat that. And we were invited to a gentleman's club. Right after, right after right that happened, gentlemen. They're like, "Sinbad, come on in. You yeah. got, you got to come on in. You got to check what's." Why check do they come gentlemen club? Ain't no gentleman going up in there. A gentleman won't go. Up in there. It looks shady too. It looks. A, super, a gentleman super doesn't shady. go up. They have steel doors, like it was nah. like dawn or from dawn to dusk. Yeah. Where they turn into vampires and kill you in the club. <laughs> right. Exactly. Nah. Had, nah they, they had bars over the window. I said, right. "Are these strippers trying to get away? They can't get out." <laughs> exactly. We were not having it. Yeah. But the show was cool. I mean, obviously, the shows are always awesome. The uh, audience always loved you. Yeah. But what was cool was that there were a couple people that came backstage um, who actually bought your pins. Yes, the pins. Y'all need to go check it out. Yeah. Look at them, Blood Empire. We got pins. We got pins. Yes. And if you guys don't know about them, uh, we literally just made pins for the new year. Not ink uh, pins. Not ink pins. That's for older people. Pins, pins that you could put on yeah. <laughs> uh, jackets and things like that of his face. It's like a profile shot of his face, like a cartoon. It's kind of uh, freaky. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it did really well. The artist, Miguel Wilson, shout out. Yeah. Miguel, you Miguel, man. Miguel, you bad boy, you man. You awesome. Um, did these pins and... One is an old school one uh, of you with like the high top, yep, the high all top that fade, stuff, yeah. and it said, "Don't you run from me from uh, from your brain damage." My mother's stand -up. classic lines. Yeah, my mother's classic lines. Exactly. And then the other one, it's wrong, but it's right. Which, yeah. Uh, Don's his his uh, his mohawk yeah. style. It means it's wrong, but it's right. It's, <laughs> it's wrong, wrong to say right. it out loud, but it's right that you said it. Exactly. Yes. So we're selling those on our Blurred store, which is on our Blurred Empire website. Yep. Uh, you can go to um, our Instagram at Blurred Empire. It's in the links in the profile. It's also, um, if you follow Sinbad on his page, it's in his link yep. as well. Check out the Blurred store. We got those pins. We're going to expand. We're going to get half some Half already gone. We just, it was an experiment. Yeah, half already gone. Half already we, gone. we just launched it last week, and they're going out the window. So if you haven't And if you get them, you get to come backstage, you know, we'll take pictures and talk for a little while. And if you're somewhere and I'm eating breakfast, you got your pin on you, I'm going to sit down by your breakfast. For this initial run. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah. After <laughs> after this uh, wave sells out, yep. uh, we're gonna hold off. We'll do a, I mean, we'll do a second wave of the pins, but yeah. for to actually get backstage of your show, which is gonna be for this first wave. Yes. Because that's gonna get out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get crazy. You're gonna be buying the whole world yeah. breakfast. Um, I'll so, be hiding, man. So the whole point of these pins is to, you know, I said that ain't me. <laughs> make some money in the process. So that ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> exactly. But you know, the pins have been really good. So yeah. definitely, if you haven't done that yet, check out uh, uh, our store, our Blurred store. Go to our Instagram profile, click on the link, and purchase them. And if you haven't got the pin yet, oh yes, like, like last night, you yeah. already came. She didn't have the pin. She didn't have pin yet because we hadn't shipped them out yet. We just just put together. She yeah. showed me the receipt, and she still got back. Yeah, you show the receipt. If you bought bought a pin and go to one of his shows and you show your receipt, um, that'll also give you backstage. Because we started this last week, the amount yeah. of orders have been crazy, and it's literally yeah. Uh, it's it's just me. <laughs> it's just me uh, yes. handling everything. It's a one man operation. I'm, I'm the operation. If you get an email. 
that's like sounds super professional. That's just me pretending like yes. it's a company. It's, but it's, it's just me. Um, so I'm gonna be start shipping all that stuff out next week. Um, all those orders because we just got a bunch of orders, and I mean it's obviously awesome. So now I'm just trying to follow up with that. Yeah, she so. bought the pen and forgot to do the shipping, right? She forgot to do the shipping, which she thought we were gonna bring the pen, which was three dollars. So we told yeah. her to bring three dollars, and she actually did. She actually which was three dollars. <laughs> we, I mean, we, <laughs> we didn't take three. We were gonna take it. <laughs> So I was told that would look bad, so I didn't. Right, right, right. But I, I mean, we appreciate the fact that yeah. she, she brought yeah. the $3. Yes. Oh, man. But yeah, so that, those have been good. But one of the other things um, that I wanted to talk about uh, was the reception that we've been getting from the videos we put out about you talking about Jingle All the Way and your experience oh. on the Sinbad show. Um, everybody's been loving it. And they've been asking for you to actually do more kind of like an inside or in-depth uh, talk on all your other projects. I need to put up the the, the making of the Sinbad show. One of uh, oh yeah, one of the found on YouTube. Yeah, one of, no, he sent it to me. One of the producers of my oh, show, nice. writers, actually came to the show I was doing. Okay, and I I don't even remember them doing this because mm -hmm. we must have the whole camera crew. And it, Ray J played my son. It's. It's kind, of, it's kind of interesting to see all that. Yeah. Summer Hike was with us, everything, man. Yeah. No, yeah. that's that was yeah. actually really cool to see. I mean, especially because I was like only like three or four at the time. Yeah, it's, it's wild. So that man. was really cool to see. Yeah. But yeah, people have now been asking um, for you to talk about House Guest, uh, Cherokee Kid, First Kid, yeah. um, even your Soul Festivals, like yeah. all that stuff. The Soul Festivals, me personally, I think that would be really well, cool to Because Tom, to Tom Joyner came to the show yesterday. Yeah, last night, yeah. And that was the history of my Soul Festival before he did his, his, his cruise ship. Mm -hmm. We started working together on the Sinbad Soul Music yeah. Festival, man. So, and I think there's still a good amount of people who don't even know about your Soul Festival. Yo, and which, now my brother does one, Soul Beach Music Festival. This is yeah. right now. And that's still ongoing. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But we were the original five. It's like, you know, <laughs> University of Michigan, the big five. Original five. Yeah. So yeah. I think because um, I wanted to talk to you about that. I think we should kind of create maybe once a month, have just like a segment that's just yeah. like I don't know, called like Sinbad breaks it down or something. Like yeah. That. And I'll put the video up. You know, it's, yeah. it's illegal. I'm putting it anyway. For what? My music. The music from Soul Festival. Oh right, right, right. Everybody's yeah, I mean, been asking me. You know, it costs almost a quarter of a million dollars for each year that we did it to put those. Uh, there was no right then. There were no. There weren't even CDs. Can you believe that? There weren't even right, CDs yet, exactly. man. No, so crazy. I just did it for artists, for the for the funk artists who who had not run, run on the road and were making the money. So I, ma I made a deal with them. Like, if it ever does sell, they make the majority of the money, not me. Yeah. And now to to do that, it would take somebody to come in, like like say Time Life, mm -hmm. to put that kind of money up to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them up illegal. Do it as long as I don't sell them, because there's a fake company out there selling them. Right, exactly. It's I mean, there's people doing. I mean, there's yeah, people putting up your your shows. I mean, yeah. Sinbad shows on YouTube. There's already enough people doing it yeah. illegally. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 save the goodness yes. for like those segments. Yes. But I think yeah, maybe once a month we just pick one of your projects and yeah, how we got. You know what? I think we break it down. How we get started? What, sometimes when something's successful. Yeah, we can start there. Actually, how yeah. how each how you even started? one of those projects get started? How you, my first TV show, uh, Cherokee Kid. It's so interesting mm -hmm. because it's never what you think it is, man. Right. Yeah. You know. I think that'll be good. So I don't, I don't get the eight-part uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart documentary on Netflix. So we'll create our own. We'll create, yeah, our own exactly. Podcast. So that I think that would be good. And it's been actually really great to hear you guys, uh, for those listening and watching, sending uh, your thoughts of what you actually like to hear. So I think definitely keep sending us that. Um, hit up, hit us up on Twitter, um, Instagram, obviously Facebook, and you can also send us voice messages. There, uh, we have links at the end of all our podcast shows where you can send us voice messages. Yes. You actually tell us what you want to hear or if you just there's other stuff on the podcast you want to talk about. If you want your voice to be featured on the podcast, yeah. that's something we're going to add. Let me um, find the right something. <laughs> right. We'll so hit it. that we'll hit that it. voice message link and so we can actually hear you guys cool. and see what you want. But I think that would definitely be something that's really cool to, we to start We actually doing. listen. We actually care. Yes, exactly. When I'm not sleeping. When he's not sleeping. Exactly. Yep. Which is in between shows. Yeah. That's the best time to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get backstage. Exactly. Unless you get the pin. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. When you have the pin, then you have yeah. to wake up. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't think about that. One thing I did want to segue into, um, first of all, I mean, I feel like I haven't seen like any movies at all. Oh, you know what? Seen, like, one I'm, I'm so out of, okay. I'm, I'm ashamed. I watch four or five movies a week, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm all Netflix now, Hulu and everything else, Disney Plus. I like to support movies, black movies, especially mm -hmm. get out there first week. And then I, I, I have to go because you're married, you have to go with your wife. Mm -hmm. And the more sometimes you wait for the wife who goes like, well, I don't want to go tonight. 
I used to just sneak out and go to the movie to see it. Mm -hmm. But man, I punked out. And I'm not sneaking out. And I'm not, I used to give people a time limit. If you don't see this movie in three right, days, right. I'm going by myself. Exactly. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I have to I have to go online and see every movie that's out. I'm yeah. so far behind. Some will be on Netflix, thank so, God. Yeah, some They'll will. be online. But I like going in. I'm I'm okay, my millennials and generation Z, whatever the crap, mm. ain't nothing like sitting in a movie theater. Mm. Nothing like sitting in a movie theater, eating some popcorn and checking a movie out. Right. No, I mean, there's nothing like it. Yeah. And I know when the Oscar nominees are announced, I'm just, I, I have to, there's so much homework. Oh, man, I can get my screeners. Yeah, get the screeners so then I can see them. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so hold then, up, hold up. Get the screeners oh, right now. Oh, I'm put this down right now. <laughs> Write it down. Chase gets them all the time. Oh, he does too? Yeah, he gets them right. from Monica. Well, I'm going to have to uh, knock on his yeah, door. Yeah, y'all do, man. And That's start great. stealing some screeners. Especially stealing Oscar screeners time. for uh, 2020. That's my yeah. thing. That's what I'm trying to do. But there is one movie that I know you watched. Uh huh. And we all watched together. Wanted to get your opinion just because of the experience, the ride that you've been through. Um, Star Wars. Yes. So we saw it. It's the end of the Skywalker of an era. Of an era. saga. Yes. Yes. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on it because you were there day one, um, episode four, <laughs> seeing it in theaters, wow. and then waiting for five and six. Wow. And then. But we didn't call it episode four. <laughs> Back then, really? No. What'd you call it? It was just Star Wars? Star Wars, and they said, and then when it was done, they said, that's not the first one. No one ever done something out of order like uh -huh. that. Yeah, I mean, it was mind blowing in the right. 70s. We're like, what? That's not the first one. And I was like this, I might be dead before I see the second one. Remember, now, I was only, what, 20, 19, 20 years old, but you're, you're thinking, you can't do that. Right. No one had ever done a movie said, you'll see the second part in three years. What? Right. <laughs> I mean, I had no patience. It was no yeah. one, no one. I mean, it was, it's um, amazing that it's 2020, 2019 it ended. It went this long. Yeah. And we took that ride. Joseph took that ride. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what this was. Nobody knew how cheap it was to make it when we saw how the special effects right, were. Right, right. The actors didn't make any money in the first one. No one knew what this was going to be but George Lucas. Yeah, exactly. He's the only one that saw the vision. And I even think he said he lost his first marriage over it. I believe That's so. That's when he built, he built so, that yeah. compound up north, you know? Mm -hmm. He just, and they had to work there, they just stayed because he said it took his whole life. Yeah. And I remember yeah. reading um, uh, just how, like, everyone thought he was literally crazy. Yes. When he wrote that. When it he was. wrote the first one and just how everyone's like, what are you, what are you, it's this, called semi crazy. This makes no sense. And in this business, sometimes you go that far creatively, you, you are semi crazy because yeah. it could blow up in your face. Yeah. Cause, um, yeah. So I guess like because he had this the like the first draft or like the early draft of the script mm -hmm. sent it to Francis Ford Coppola and a bunch of other people, and they were saying like that first script was just an absolute mess. Yeah. And so he had to go back and like change it and change things, um, and then it ended up being what it is now. But the um, fact he would send, remember that's the difference between generation now. He had no problem yeah, letting other exactly. people. Hey man, do you think it's good? And he took criticism. Yeah. And then, but even with that, people are still like, this still makes no sense, whatever. Yeah. Um, but the one person that I thought was great that like loved it from the beginning was Francis Ford Coppola. Coppola. Oh, did he? Yeah. He, he even so said, I didn't know that, man. Even oh, from wow, that, wow. even from that first script, that was just an absolute mess. He was like, I liked it, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's, uh, it shows you, man. Yeah, it just okay. shows you. So, I mean, definitely no one can deny just like the, yeah. the vision and the heart that that script had. Um, oh, dude, it was, from, it was from mind beginning. blowing. Yeah. And I, I was, I was so angry when they said, when they, when they put him in a carbon. Oh yeah. Frozen, I was like this. Cause how long was it between, uh, three years, six, uh, or no, five and six. God, uh, how many years? Four, ago? five years. Dude. Yeah. Cause it, it, it when they froze him in carbon mm -hmm. and they went off, we said, I won't, I won't ever see <laughs> Cause you know, Hollywood works. Yeah. I'll never know what happened to him. Yeah. And that was it's like Planet of the Apes when they finally right, did, right. They, 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 when they when they created something we go like oh that's why it's happening yeah but you know there was just an article a guy says I don't care about all that new technology it's nothing beats an actor in a suit I disagree with you on Planet of the Apes although I do in not discredit instance, I don't discredit the actor suit <laughs> they did a wonderful job yeah. the Planet of the Apes to work the way it did yeah. was amazing but once you see the new technology yeah you can't be and the actor played them was an actor. It wasn't yeah. just animation. It was, he's known for yeah. that. It was, he, he did what the, uh, what's the one, the one, the, uh, uh, Oscar, the, the, uh, the Waterman. 
Shape of Water. Oh, oh, Shape of Water. Shape of Water. Mm-hmm. He's a, they, he's has that. Ability. Oh yeah, he's he's he's, he's, he's yeah. So if you're using him with the new technology where they put the points on you mm-hmm. and you move his body. Oh yeah, you have an actor. You really have a human being yeah. doing that. Yeah, Planet of the Apes. I mean, the, yeah. with the new technology, there's no doubt that that, yeah. that was better than yeah. the um, having actors and costumes. Not better. Yeah. It was the new thing. Not sure. better because we didn't. It wasn't like when I said better. It, it, it wasn't like we had a choice between costumes and this. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, this sure. was what it was. Yeah. No, absolutely. So when it got here, I'm like, oh, this is incredible. Well, I will say an example of the costumes being better than the technology, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, you're right. I will, I will take yeah. those yeah. goofy costumes over yes. the new generated turtles yeah. any day. But that's just it. Yeah. Um, but I want to get back to Star Wars. Okay. So um, you saw the first trilogy yeah. and blew everybody's minds. They yes. didn't know what they were getting into. Then how, what, hour long later, you know, you have forgot kids, about it. you forget about it. You have kids and all this stuff. And then obviously you, you got me grown up on it. Now, bam, the prequels. And then you go like this, oh, this is what we're waiting for. Yeah. You know, this is what Lucas, I, I wonder how Lucas will go. Remember, he ended up giving the franchise, sold the franchise, right? Yeah, Disney. So you always wonder, what was it like to be the father? And this is my children. I was like, man, these kids, they're grown. You can have them now. Yeah. That's, I, it must be strange. I mean, it has to be. I mean, he did Jar Jar though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it probably was, yeah, Jar Jar. That's, you know what? Cause they, tried, they, no, they tried to push technology. That's the one. That's what we'll talk about it. They computer generated so much. They got so excited with it. Yeah. And they're actually bringing Jar Jar Black back. Yeah, they are for uh, Jar Jar. The, the um, <laughs> Obi Wan series they're yes. bringing for Disney Plus. I think they're just they're trying. trying I think they're Jar trying Jar to back. find, like you said. I hope. I, I mean, Which, we got to justify yeah. it. But either way, you lose because if you're making better. We knew you were trying to make him better because yeah. we knew what Jar Jar was. I, I hate Jar Jar just as much as the next person. Yeah. Um, but if they're going to bring him back, it has to be the redemption story yeah. of the century. Like he has to be, there has to be something that we just can't help but just love. Like he's got to be a hero yeah. and he's got to go on a talk show circuit like this. Right. Good man, the first time. <laughs> Jar Jar, Jar Jar was not Exactly. Because right. people are going to yeah. come hard, especially after the success of The Mandalorian. Yeah. You got Baby Yoda. Like, so, yeah. you know, it, it's... It, there's a lot more writing on Star Wars now, especially yeah. like with this new trilogy, yep. um, how people felt about it. Um, so yeah, it's it's if you're gonna bring Jar Jar back, there ha- I feel like there has to be a very specific reason for them to even consider yeah. that because they don't have to. No, they're so, trying. They're, somebody so, like this. <laughs> someone said, "What do you do about Jar Jar?" Right. Or they just make him like a super crazy Sith. Oh no, that'd be wild. Jedi too. Master. That'd be no. That would be cool. Insane. Yeah. And then we go like he was. Jar Jar was on medication the first time we saw him. <laughs> Jar Jar had lost his mind. And this is the real Jar Jar. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see. But Although, I, Marseille, I do like the name. Jar Jar Blinks. It's, and it's funny, you always call him Blinks. Yeah. You, but it's Binks. No, Blinks. Blinks. <laughs> Jar Jar Blinks. Jar Jar. Ever since I was little, you always said Jar Jar Blinks. Did I? It says Binks? It's Binks. It changes everything. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks doesn't roll off the tongue like Jar Jar Blinks. <laughs> You know, because he had those big old eyes. Yeah. So I said Jar Jar Binks. Jar Binks. His eyes would blink. Now Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. That's, that's, what race is he? I've always tried to correct you. But Blinks was I a brother. I, you, you got so deep into calling him Blinks, I could I yeah, didn't have Yeah, Blinks was a brother. Like, what's up, Blinks? Right. So you can have a nickname. What's up, Jink? Blinks? Not Binks. Right. Binks, where you going? Blinks, what's up? And Blinks, black folks give nicknames. Right. Because your physicalness. Exactly. So Blinks made sense. <laughs> Blinks. <laughs> Blinks for short. Oh, so man. maybe they, that's what they should do when they bring him they back. They should say Jar Jar Blinks. Jar Jar Blinks. If he comes back. That's his cousin. Yes. Jar Jar Blinks. <laughs> formerly known as Binks. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. That would actually be good. That would be his good redemption I wish story. A script. I could help him with that. Right. I know. No, man, that's it's too late. Blinks, it's too late. But now with um, Rise of Skywalker, yeah. um, that whole ending. How did, like, so for, how did you feel about the movie? I think it wasn't great, mm-hmm. but it wasn't horrible to say. I think they needed to finish it. They made mm-hmm. mistakes on the ones before. They couldn't. Sometimes it's like sports. You can't recover from your first half. Yeah. <laughs> You can do better. <laughs> you might tie. You might barely win the tournament. You said, yeah. "Okay, we get we get a chance of going for the championship now." It wasn't our best game, but we survived it. And and I say that because you know, man, I, I want stuff to work. I yeah. want Star Wars to work. The last one left us with such horribleness. And I also <laughs> I know. And I also think, and and some people get mad at me. We're trying to appease so many groups of people. Mm-hmm. People want it. 
want my man uh, 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 to be, uh, what's his character's name, uh, Bodega. They want him and my oh, man, yeah, they want him to be mm -hmm. gay. They said, what enough gay in it? I'm like this, you know, that's like me saying, I want more black, more black. You know, yes, we might want more black, but I can still enjoy the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't be like, man, they still end up black people in the movie for me. I think yeah. there's a new thing where we got to be careful. We're trying to appease everybody. Sometimes you don't get it. And I say this as a black man, the reason I'm saying it as a black man, we never got it. Mm -hmm. We never got the total package. And I'm glad everybody's fighting for the package. But I think sometimes your package is no more important than another person's package. Yeah. You keep fighting for it. And then they were mad that the kissing scene between two women wasn't long enough. They said they punked out. I said, well, did they punk out? Or, or do we now say for the gay kissing scene, they deserve more time because nobody else kissed long? Well, because he, here's the problem, at least for uh -huh. me, my opinion with that is... If you're if you know if you're gonna put it in there, be bold in the sense where yeah, make uh make the the Finn and yeah. and uh why why am I why am I tripping on this same name? thing I did uh uh Poe yeah uh, yeah uh, Poe Dameron make the Finn and Poe Dameron an actual relation like don't yeah. be afraid to do that if instead of just do, randomly do. throwing just a random quick kiss in because I feel like yeah. that's kind of like the punk way out. It's like oh we're doing a kiss All right we're fine. So in yeah. my opinion, like I understand if you're like if you're gonna do that, be bold in doing yeah. that since but you know. It's Disney, so it's like they find little ways, and like yeah. they've done it with all their movies, they find little ways to like throw in certain things to 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 appease people without making it. Um, I don't lose somebody. Part which I don't story. think you lose me. I want to say to my LGBTQ community, hey, black people die in every horror movie. <laughs> we, we like you said, it was a quick kiss. We we fade through all the time. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the party. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I hope y'all keep fighting. But you know what? We got to fight. We're fighting too. And I think somehow we maybe we can all bond together. And we actually sit down and talk about diversity in a real way. Where it's okay. It's our time. It's our time. No, it's never just one person's time. Yeah. We all have to fight for everybody. If you're going to make sure, okay, now with TV, we got to make sure we have a gay couple. Okay, then are we going to make sure we have a, a, a black person and an Asian? Asian people been let out. Mm -hmm. I'm like this. Then open the whole floodgate. Yeah, and that's always the problem. Oh, with, open the whole floodgate is what I'm saying. And that's the whole problem with diversity is yeah. that. Yeah. We, we, which group are we? Yeah, which, which group, group are we going to go of the with? the day right now. When at the end of the day, it should just yeah. be it should just be everybody because yeah. that's the world, and there's, it's just finding a way to make that happen. So I'm, I'm cool, and like I say, don't punk out with it. But yeah. when somebody gets mad, I can't enjoy the movie. But black folks, we would quit going. We would quit going to movies a long time ago. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We keep fighting for it. Y'all keep fighting for it too. But at the same time, I'm saying I'm not gonna jump off my horse. <laughs> about minorities being involved mm -hmm. in, the, in the music, in the, in the movie game, in the TV game, also. Yeah, we just got to spread. I might, get, spread some, the I might get some. I might get some flack on this, but I hope it starts a conversation. Because mm -hmm. I don't know how you fight. Someone else is struggling, and you got to struggle. Yeah. When two people are struggling, what's the fight? Yeah, I know. And yeah. that's that's the tough part. We just got to throw it all in mm -hmm. there, fine. Because and it, that's the way the like the way the industry is now. It's like yeah. too much diversity. It's like oh no 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 no. We got We got to no. sprinkle it in. It's like no. no, you don't have to sprinkle it in. Just. And Throw it in there. The thing that bothered me the most is what was Paul trying to say? He said, I guess I'm going to tell that was you know, the now they you see this article came out, this is what it's gonna say. Don't tell me now. Yeah. I don't care now. Don't say it's a director or producer. You know what? Did you forget it was in there? I bet you when they watched it, oh God. I feel like I feel like Oh God, we feel like they were trying to do so much and fix so much that at the end of the movie they forgot that that was even a thing. You can't tell me. I bet you when they did the screen you said, Did we not get that? <laughs> right. How did we forget he said that? I know, I know. Because in real life, that sucks. Man, yeah. someone will tell you. And then you, you move away. Yeah. Well, what were you going to tell me? Oh, man. I have no idea. I have my cousin tell you later. Right. <laughs> no. And so that's why I yeah. kind of wanted to, to kind of like end this part with having that initial hype when you were young, yeah. seeing it from the beginning, and then finally seeing the end, at least of this saga, were you satisfied? No, because, you know, no, in the sense, because I never thought I'd be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Too many of the main characters are gone. See, at least the Planet of the Apes, they recreated the family. Yeah. They, they cre recreated the lineage that went on. We, we know where it is. We wanted to know where they came from. We found the leader. Because they actually came full circle. When you start a movie in the past, I mean, in, 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 the, in the super future. Yeah. And they took us back to the past. That's what they did. They took us back to the past to take us to the future. Yeah. With Star Wars, when they took us back to the past, but we started losing people in the past we loved. Yeah. So for me, as I started losing, like, it's good to see Harrison Ford there. You know, that Darth Vader, although I know all the women love him, will never touch. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren <laughs> will never touch James Earl Jones' voice. No. 
And yeah. the actor David and Post. I, and, and David Post was his name. That big guy. When he walked on the ship the first time he walked on the ship, or he crushed the guy's throat. I said, This is an evil man. Yeah. An adversary that you might have a beat. Remember, sometimes evil wins for a long yeah, time. Exactly. And I and you know, and I, I don't think uh they were trying to do that with Kylo Ren, yeah. um, but at the end of the day, they gave us no reason to fear him. They no, gave us no reason to feel for him. He always waffled between good and bad. He was just waffled. There. He, he waffled. was just there, you know. So it's just it's it's in the general or Snoke or whatever yeah. her Snoke. Yeah, um, he was just there. Yeah, and had no reason. And then they bring uh, Palpatine back. Yeah, and it's just like, but they didn't bring him back. For purpose, right? It's just he like just came back. he just randomly came back, and it's like I'm pretty sure that dude got it's like is that Palpatine in the seat, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh no, my case fell. Got oh, got a Spider Man, man. Got a got a show Spider Man. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm 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 happy with the end of an era, but I'm gonna tell you something else. I was telling you when I walked out the theater, it's like some comic books um, when it changed so much, it had no longer to do, which is okay for the new generation. Mm -hmm. The world won't change if a new generation doesn't get their own voice. Um, it's, I'm interesting where this goes because I, I think it has nothing to do with me now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think no. Star Wars now has nothing to do with me. I'll see it as a movie, but yeah. I'm not connected to it yeah. anymore. At least the films. Cause yeah. then, you know, to bring that over to Disney plus with a Mandalorian, the Mandalorian, because it's, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm connected yeah. because no one was connected to it before. We're all on equal footing, young and old, <clears throat> but yes. I, I look at the news where Star Wars goes now. It'll be interesting, but we'll still keep talking about yeah. Luke. I'll, I'll still talk about Princess Leia. Yeah. I'll still talk about that original Darth Vader. I will always hear some, They were such, yeah. not only the fact, they were funny. Yeah. It was action. It was funny. It was love. It was craziness. It's the first time we saw a brother and sister kiss each other. Yeah, that and was not know. That was well, she knew. We always brushed yeah, over that. No, we don't, she, we don't but she kind of played it. She knew. Yeah, because she knew. She knew. Yeah. Luke was innocent. He, didn't he was know. like this. He, he, he's so fine. My brother's so fine. <laughs> I bet it's so fine. Yeah, this is yeah. pre pre Game of Thrones, everybody. Yeah, yeah, and I think Disney knows that, and I think yeah. that's why they're splitting it to where they're now going to take the series to a new yeah. place. Um, not Siri. No, I'm not talking to you, Siri. Ooh, Siri thought talking right about the series. So they're going uh, with, at least with the films, and who, who knows how long it will yeah. They're probably going to take a break. They're not right. going to jump right back into it. We'll take a break, but then it'll be something completely new. Um, but they're smart because then with their their TV shows on Disney Plus, they're like, we're still going to keep it old school. We're still going to keep the things yeah. that made people fall in love. So we saw The Mandalorian. Yeah. They're bringing back Obi-Wan. Um, yeah. So yeah. We, we yeah, have yeah. that, which with Obi-Wan, it's like, okay, is, is Luke going to be a part of that? We're going to get yeah. a young Luke. In, in Mandalorian, are we going to get an older Luke after he is like the man? They gave know? us a Yoda. So, they gave us a Yoda. They gave man. us baby Yoda. So we are so we, we can are learn so more. excited. We are so yeah. excited about baby. I, it was some familiarity. Yeah. So we get to, yeah. maybe we get to know a little bit more about his race and kind of like how all that goes. Yeah. Um, so they they were smart. They're smart. They're they're splitting it. They're like we're going to give you new but still give you old yeah. at the same time because at the end of the day, Disney realizes Star Wars fans. Cannot move, <laughs> and then, and then like, <laughs> baby, baby, baby boomers are still the biggest group of yeah. people that are spending money. And they said the biggest. They said the biggest economic group is is the generation uh, uh, is a, is the millennials because mm -hmm. it's our money we loan. Yeah, think about it. It's, it's still it's still coming from that that, and that's not that's just fact. It's yeah. just that money coming down. There's more money because you get yeah. Venmo money and PayPal money, all that stuff. Yeah, but I don't mind it traveling on to mm -hmm. younger. I'm never like on stage. I'm 30 and 40 year young. For thirty and forty years older than the two comics over for me. Yeah, you know it's it's a it's a it's a strange. When I'm on stage, I notice what I said. I'm your grandfather age. Yeah, which means I probably shouldn't be on the stage anymore. Right. But I'm having too much fun. It's like being on the team, but I can still. It's like being LeBron. Yeah. And I can still back you up. Yeah. Until you take my spot. You know, and you're just you're hitting it with these basketball analogies because I think yes. what you said about Star Wars. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have a great first half. Um, yeah. They struggled. They finished it out. They finished they, it. They won by one. Yep. But it was an ugly fourth quarter. Can we get to the next game? Can we get to yeah exactly? Can we get to, <laughs> Can the, next we get to the next game? And we won't talk about this game yeah, anymore. Exactly. So I think yeah. They, they struggled through. They, they struggled, struggled through. through. They made it. So but the yeah. answer is yeah, I'm cool with it. Okay. Yeah, that's all I wanted to know. Just because like not like Paige's fiance, Paige, my daughter, who gets so damn emotional <laughs> watching any kind of animation I mean, movie. I mean, I'm the same. That's you know, I'm the same. That's that's so. another level. I'm I'm a I'm a blurred light. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna call myself blurred light because I can still go to sleep at night 
Knowing Spider-Man, and that wasn't that great. They will not <laughs> sleep. They, they won't sleep. Can't sleep. Just Can't don't sleep. mess with my blade. Right. Don't mess with blade. Don't mess with blade. Don't mess with blade. So it's got to come hard. Yeah, it's got to come hard. Because blade three. And Ooh. I think he's going to kill you. Know what? I actually think he's going to kill it. Myself. Oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I, mean, I think, I think there's, no, there's no doubt with him. He's probably the only one. Yeah, he's, yeah. Build-wise, look-wise, it's just like, like I said, Wesley is such a part of our life. Wesley gave us his character. And maybe the reason I'm so... We'll talk about it another time. But yeah. Wesley... They didn't do him right. You know, it's like... They didn't give him the you, 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 Somebody put you off a team, and you didn't give him the credit he deserves yeah. for that franchise. Yeah, so that's that's the yeah. unfortunate part. So we'll never really get a book ending yeah. for him. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think it'll be fine. It's just, now that it's under the Disney umbrella, mm -hmm. how does that style of film yeah. work? You know, it's got to so be bloody Disney. It's yeah, it's got Disney. It's got to be punches. bloody, bro. It's got to be bloody, you know, man. They said Deadpool, and then also in the era yeah. of Deadpool, yes. which is heavily yeah. influenced, yes. you know, from Blade. So seeing how they can kind of create that nowadays yeah. and see how that works, but Ooh, we'll man. see. We'll see. But yeah, I wanted to get into cool. some technology talk real quick. Let's talk about. Um, let's go to CES. CES, because yeah, 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 yeah. You, I know it. It's first time in what? How many years? I've been to CES. 50 years. 50 years. And uh, <laughs> matter of fact, somebody came to the show yesterday, had a picture of him as a young man up at CES 20 years ago with me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is crazy. And I, there was only two or three brothers at CES. And I now mean, there's it's seven. Still, it's still, yeah, it's still maybe it's 10. still kind of the same. Probably, you know what? What? It's almost like State of Arizona. Mm. Going to CES <laughs> is like, that's how, that's how many black folks you see at CES. Yeah, yeah there, weren't, there weren't a lot. But um, still enjoyed it. Had some fun. Yeah. Um, saw a lot of stuff. Um, you know, it's funny how like, Going to CES now, you know, the, the awe moments that you yeah. have start to dwindle. Um, but this year, it was, I can report, cool. um, since you weren't there, it was all about AK TVs, the different types of, uh, like, the new resolution of TVs. Okay. A um, lot of robots. What's the AK TV? So, uh, AK resolution. Okay. So, right now, you know, 4K is kind of the big thing. And before 4K, remember, 1080p, full, oh, high other, definition. Other, other AK, like assault rifle. Oh, a oh, like, like my blinks, like my jaw like wow. no, 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 no. They got, they so, got a machine gun. Yeah. So for those who might okay. not know, uh, when you know when TVs and, and and cameras and all that stuff went to full, you know, um, high definition, yeah. you know, HD television, 1080p, um, or as they call it. Then after that, then it became to 4K. I'm pretty sure everybody's been into Best Buy. You either own yeah, a 4K now, TV now, buy, or, now you're going for like or you're looking to upgrade yeah, to 4K. Yeah, you can get them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. just another higher resolution than 1080 and so now the next wave is 8k 8k and now everybody's resolution. like this oh i got 4k <laughs> right <laughs> this is gonna be so now fun. this is gonna be funny the th and the thing is <laughs> if, if you guys are thinking like oh now i gotta run out and get an 8k 8k tv no no because no nope. still there are still barely things that are shot in 4k, 4K. you know <laughs> it's, so it's well, up it's it's composite it's yeah. it's 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 the resolution has been it's so yeah. much it's not most of untrue 4K, but right. what you're seeing. Exactly. Not so, shot in, but yeah. seeing. So as long as it took for 4K to adopt, it's probably going to be the same. Probably, you know, it might move a little bit faster yeah. to 8K. Um, but, you know, now that's why you can get 4K TVs for cheap. Yeah. Before, they were like thousands of dollars. Now you get a 4K TV for like 200 bucks. But so much of it's <laughs> going to this and, and this. And the phone. Yeah, I exactly. I mean, is 8K TV, if I'm younger, this is where I'm going to be watching most of my stuff. Exactly. Can't put 8K on this. Can't. Well, eventually, the phone yeah. will get there. Um, but thousand dollar phone. Right. But that's actually a good jumping in point because yeah. one of the great things at CES, I got a chance to go to the keynote of this new streaming service called Quibi. Q-U-I-B-I. Write and this down, people. Yes. This is content, going to be... Content creators. This is going to be the new streaming service that comes out uh, in the spring of this year um, to compete with Netflix, um, Amazon, Apple, and, and everybody else. Um, but it's de dedicated, it's a service dedicated just for your phone. Mm -hmm. So Quibi, they say, stands for Quick Bites. So it's going to be actually like Hollywood standard produced shows. So very nice, pristine shot stuff in the stu like studios, things like that. It's going to be shot just for your mobile devices, specifically phones. Um, but it'll have the quality that you're used to watching on Netflix or Amazon um, instead of like, you know, some web series you might watch on YouTube where, you know, people are low budget. They're doing it on their own, which is fine. Um, but yeah, Quibi standard is to bring that qual that studio quality okay. production to your mobile device. And uh, well, tell the people about the, the way they know why it's so legit. 
like Katzenberg. For, oh yeah, yeah. From Disney went off to oh, yeah. DreamWorks. You know, Spielberg. Yes, yes. So there's a lot of heavy people be, um, that that are actually backing this. Um, Spielberg's Meg, involved. Meg Women, she's, she's yeah. on the board with Yeah, them. Antoine, Antoine Fuqua's yeah. uh, got a project on there. So like they got really big names jumping on this. Um, I think uh, LeBron James also has a project I think they're throwing up there. LeBron, you do everything! <laughs> yeah, so they actually, they got a lot of people jumping on this and they're focusing on very short um, points of content. So it's going to be shows and movies that are only five to ten minutes long. Okay. So shows will be, will be five to ten minutes long. Movies. Um, they said they were, they were planning on breaking them up into like little sections, which That's, for me, I'm yeah. kind of like, okay, if it's a movie and you split it up, then it's a show. The bad thing is, <laughs> the bad thing is, if it does work, you're teaching people to look movies. You're teaching a new generation. Yeah. That you don't need to watch a whole movie, you which I really, which I really need. It's like watching a trailer. Yeah. And now the trailer is actually the movie now. Exactly. I, I, but then again, like I said, I'm, I'm an older head. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's what it is. Sometimes it's called the pimping of the young people. Right, exactly. And we'll make it, they have, maybe because they have no attention span. Maybe young people aren't going, maybe they've done some studies mm -hmm. where young folks aren't going to movies. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think they are, but I think they're holding out just for like those big, yeah. you know, the big. They don't go discover anything. They don't go like, hey, yeah, they don't go to hey you want to go see some movies yeah. this week? Let's just see what's out. Now having it all on your phone yeah. increases the chance that you'll actually do that. Um, and one of the uh, uh, features that they have, I think that's really, really cool, uh, they're calling it Turnstile. Okay. And what that means is you can watch shows or movies or whatever, either in landscape or portrait. So either having your phone sideways right. or long ways, um, because they know that the younger generation, a lot of them, they just watch, they watch their phone, how mm. they watch stuff on their phone, how they hold their phone, which is in portrait or, you know, long ways. And, but they, their technology is pretty much where they develop each show and they pretty much, they deliver two versions of the show that's um, fitted for landscape and also fitted for portrait. So if you turn your phone to portrait, it'll still be composed the way the creator intended. So you can okay. you still see everything you need to see, which I think is really nice. So if you have like uh, credits rolling and they're like in the bottom left corner in landscape, if you turn your phone, those credits will still be viewed, but they'll cool. be like at the bottom of the All screen. Right. So it moves as you turn it and it's and it's seamless. So pretty much as soon as you turn it, wow. you um, it adjusts accordingly, which That's I think nice. is- That's some nice, there's some yeah. serious algorithms, man. That's which is, smart people, yeah, man. Which is smart really, people. really, really smart. Um, and then they even take that further and actually implement it into some of their shows. So um, some creators are using it so, so when you turn your phone, you can actually view a different point of view of the show, of what's going on, or the action. What? Yeah, ex yeah. so for example, there's a show about this woman, um, this guy's trying to break into this woman's house. So if you turn the, or if you're watching it normally in landscape, you're watching it like a normal show, it's got the nice camera angles, all that stuff. Cool. And so the guy breaking into her house, he tries to trick her, he rings the doorbell, she has like a, he has a, she has a ring, the, the ring doorbell, uh -huh. where he has the camera on it. So he rings that doorbell trying to trick her to open the door. Mm -hmm. So you're watching it in landscape, looks nice how it's supposed to be viewed. And then if you switch it to portrait, the view, the perspective actually changed, changes to the ring um, camera. So you're actually seeing the guy outside. But it's a seamless transition, so the the show's still playing. There she is. There's no yeah. There's no stopping. There's no stopping and the show. There's there no pausing. Is. So you actually can choose if you want to see. If you turn it to landscape, you see the girl in the house panicking. You don't have to do the cut. Exactly. Cut if you turn to portrait, you can see the ring camera looking at the guy breaking in, and it's actually pretty trippy switching back and forth. You like, know what? How they long showed it at the show. <laughs> not long have been trying to do something with multiple points of view, and like this, different endings of shows. Exactly. So actually, wow. And so this was actually wow. seamless, like. Wow. And in another show, um, same example, you watch the landscape, it's the normal show, turn it to portrait, this guy's texting on his phone, you can actually see his text messages wow. on his phone as he's texting them. So you get to choose kind of how you want to experience the show, which I think is genius oh, because no. they're taking full advantage of having this content. Everybody on the phone. airplane. Right, <laughs> exactly. And so of course that brings up yeah, the, yeah. the thought of like, okay, how like how long are people yeah, going to be flipping yeah, the yeah, phone yeah, until they're just done with it? And they'll, but, yeah, they'll find a way. or. We know we've been trained to do other things before. Exactly, and I think probably what they're going to do is the 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 best shows will save that feature yeah. for very specific moments. Yeah. They won't just like lay it in the entire time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the fact that they're all only five to ten minutes, you can watch a show five to ten minutes, be done, go off to your and almost go back and look at another way if you want it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you can watch the show one way, go back and watch the show a yeah. completely different way, and I think that's what's really really genius about it. 
Um, and then with Steven Spielberg, he's doing uh, some scary show on there. And he, <laughs> and he told them, he, uh, he told him, he's like, uh, I, want, I want to create a scary show, but I only want people to be able to view it at night. That's crazy. Is that possible? And they're like, well, since this is a platform dedicated for the phone, our phones know what time it is. Yeah. So they programmed it to where after the phone hits a, what, like eight, yeah. like 10 o'clock at night, that's when his shows unlock. So you can only watch his shows after 10 o'clock and then they lock up again during the day. So I'm like, that's, you know, that's insane. Like that's, that's that means you only can watch it in the dark, in the dark. You can only watch, like, you have no excuse. Cause like for me, I hate scary movies. So that's why I won't watch the show because I'm oh. like, I need to watch oh. it in the daytime. Oh. Oh. Lights on. I like, I like you see me. I live yeah. <laughs> blinds I live. completely open. <laughs> I live for scary. I live for scary movies. Yeah. So I think that's really, I think that service is really going to be interesting. They said, uh, um, it was going to be four ninety nine a month with ads, um, or seventy ninety nine, seven ninety nine a month ad free okay without ads and they said they had over 175 shows um and eight eighty uh eight thousand five hundred episodes coming um pretty much at launch well not all at the same time i don't think but i think spread out they're going to be re releasing stuff and they're going to re they're releasing episodes instead of weekly they're releasing episodes every day oh yeah exactly so they got plenty of content so they have movies tv Man. shows and they're doing uh, live sports and news broadcasts, all that stuff. So they're covering literally Man, now, all the angles. Let's see how diversity works. With, see now, once again, new because I looked at their their board and who they have there. Once again, yes. I don't see a lot. Of, I don't see a lot of diversity yet. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna see how the programming works with diversity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting, but um, yeah, with two areas that mm -hmm. at least as far as, as I've seen, they're still kind of lacking in content. I mean, they, I don't think they're doing much in the stand-up area yep. yet, um, or cartoons. I didn't and that's see a lot of five minutes stuff. Come right, on, five, exactly. six minutes. It, or I didn't see a lot of animated shows or anything okay. like that. I heard they're working on it, but they didn't announce anything mm -hmm. yet. So there's still a lot of potential, even though they have a lot of shows coming. Yeah, there's still a lot of potential. Um, but yeah, I, I can comedy easily. news show would be great. Exactly. It's breaking, but can she break down news every day? Yeah, I, exactly. Oh God, that'd be up my alley, man. And just it's quick. It's quick. Just you know, just do five to ten minutes. Watch them. Hey y'all, give me yeah. a quick rundown. You can almost do it twice a day if you want. Mm -hmm. Hey, this was happening early in the day. Oh, even time. Got some new stuff for you. Yeah, exactly. So I think Quibi. That's going to be a heavy hitter to watch out with. Uh, I, I don't know if it'll be a hit like right from the jump. I think word is going to have to spread. Grow. But then once people find out, especially the young generation, I think they're gonna they're gonna jump on it. I hope they have some young people on board because I watched it was all older people. No, yeah, they actually, together. they got a yeah. lot of young creators. Um, good, they got a good, lot good. of young people involved, so I think they they're they're doing the right stuff. All right, cool. They're doing the right stuff, so I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, obviously, uh, there'll you know it'll be situations where there'll probably be some great shows, and you kind of just want to watch it on your TV. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how that will happen. Although, it's going back to TVs, Samsung. Uh, announced this rotating TV that actually rotates right. from landscape to portrait. So I was like, oh, well, it's a mon like a monitor, like does. a monitor, because their whole thing is people are watching most of their content on their phone. So if you sync the uh, the TV to your phone, if you rotate your phone to landscape, the TV will actually rotate with you, so you can watch that content um, how you would on your phone, the exact same way on your TV. So uh, I think that actually <laughs> be a really great partnership with Quibi. Like once. Because now the Samsung's done, I'm sure other, if it catches on, other people will do it too. Partnership with Quibi, so then you can still have those same features on your phone, but also now on your TV. Which will, <laughs> you know. So there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of possibilities Man. there. I think, you know, it's, it's technology's uh, in a really cool place. Yeah. Um, everybody's trying to figure out, sometimes everybody's trying to figure out the future. And I know. Get, and they all get passed up. <laughs> and they all get passed up. So I don't people, know. Because young people, or even not just young people, people yeah. who are creative, will use it in a way that they yeah, never thought no, no. And honestly, if I didn't see that Quibi keynote mm -hmm. and I saw that TV, I would have been like, this mm -hmm. is stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, why would mm -hmm. you have this? But seeing that, I immediately connected the dots. I was like, this actually could work with this. I don't know how often uh, people actually use the rotating feature, but just to know that you can if do you it. If you can sit at your seat and rotate it with a remote yeah. to get up and rotate that TV, mm -hmm. no one's going to buy it. So you better have a stand. And Apple will help you with that because they have a thousand dollar stand exactly. for their monitor. Thousand dollars. Yes. Easy price. It rotates. And it rotates. It rotates. Yeah. And uh, last bit on TVs, LG had a really cool TV that was like, they said it was two credit cards thin. Whoa. Um, like crazy, crazy thin. So it helps and your credit. Yeah, exactly. It helps your credit. It helps your credit. But um, there's a all the like peripherals and all the things to plug in. It's it's connected to a sound bar that you put on your stand. Just like we have. Yeah. The, uh, the Samsung we have. Yeah. Everything goes into a box. In, into a box. 
and then the TV's literally just on the wall, um, and it's just like lace super flat, yeah. which is really cool. I just don't know how I feel about having a TV that I feel like I can rip in half. It's kind of. Well, you know what? If you can rip that TV in half, you've worked out way too much. You've worked out. You know, your anger issues are great, crazy because you've probably spent so much money for that. Yeah. You'll be jacked. Right. Yes. Probably. Um, but yeah, I think that was, that was definitely Quibi, I think, hands down, was the coolest thing. All right. Um, just another note, too. I didn't get a chance to check it out. I wanted to. But um, another thing they're trying to do for TVs, uh, um, they're trying to create this fil what's called a filmmaker mode okay. for TVs where, um, I mean, you experience it all the time. If you have certain types of TVs, whenever you watch movies or something, they might not look the same on every single monitor. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, if it's shot like super, um, 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 like hyper realistic or whatever, or it'll look like hyper realistic. It'll look like it was shot in like 60 frames, like a yeah. higher frame rate when it really wasn't. So, um, they're trying to establish this filmmaker mode. A bunch of filmmakers got together, Martin Scorsese, Ava DuVernay, Ryan Coogler, Patty Jenkins, Ryan Johnson. Uh, they all got together and to support this initiative where, um, this new mode will allow people to view the movies how the filmmakers intended it to be viewed. So they they get it, they would get rid of all the post processing that usually happens on certain, on certain TV. TVs. Okay. Okay. Um, so they do that. Uh, uh, they they would keep the aspect ratio, color, the the frame rates they actually meant to use, all that stuff. Which uh, they're trying to fight to to keep all that. So okay. every so movies will hopefully look the same on as many. Um, TVs and monitors as possible and they said mainly because that's where most people are viewing their content now so they want to make sure it's represented the right way all right yeah and you, you didn't like that one no no it's funny, <laughs> it's funny. Like, film, I want my I want my film I want my film I'm thinking everybody's complaining. <laughs> I'm just, okay I'm wrong because I, I can see myself a filmmaker too although you might not have seen me in a while but I've never complained mm-hmm I've never watched something that they shot on TV. I said, I wish I could see it the way they intended in the movie theater. I wasn't like that until I started making movies. Uh -huh. And when I would show you guys, I would edit it, it would look a certain way. And then I'd show you guys on uh, a certain TV and I'll be like, this looks like, this looks like it was shot like on an HD cam. Like what, what happened? You know? So yeah. I, I understand them wanting to have that standard. Um, well, it's like, I guess the app we, that was out, you know, God, I, don't, I haven't used it so long because now I guess when it's like we can make a video look like a film. Oh, oh, what like a um, bullet. Bu magic bullet. bullet. Oh, magic bullet. Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. No, yeah, magic, magic bullet. bullet magic yeah. bullet. That was the first one people started doing uh, 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 high, uh, shooting with cameras. Mm -hmm. But it was DV. Now, I just DV, yeah. magic bullet would take that video look away mm -hmm. and give it the film look. Yeah. So I, I, I agree with that. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I'm glad they got the initiative. Right. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what they're trying to do. Uh, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for everybody to roll out and to support yeah. that. Um, oh, also LG has a, had a TV that like actually comes out of the uh, sound bar, kind of like a, almost like a, a no, roll up. Was like, like roll up screens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it kind of comes out like that. Which yeah, because that's what I needed. I've always wanted my, my TV to be able to go away. Right. And then when I <laughs> and then, and then come watch, back, yeah, I no. come back up because that was so <laughs> it's so important. I'm so glad. So important. That one there. Ain't gonna be a big winner, right? But that's just me talking. <laughs> like I said, sometimes people want what they want. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, there was also there was a lot more cool stuff. Obviously, don't have time to talk about it yeah. all. But uh, if you guys follow my YouTube channel, Rocky A Productions, R O C Y E Productions on YouTube, um, I'll be uh, releasing throughout the week a bunch of different stuff that I highlighted. I played a AI robot in table tennis or ping oh, pong. Yeah, I saw um, that. and uh, it embarrassed me. And I was playing it on easy mode. So if you guys want to check that, check all that stuff out. Um, there's also like this cool transformer uh, race car uh, by this company. Oh, no, called, no, that became a robot. Yeah, yeah it, I like that it. was uh, by Robo, Robosyn, this new company. Um, definitely check that out. Check out my channel. Got a lot of cool stuff. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of just. A, Let's talk about. So we're talking about diversity. This is the first time he's gone to a CES. When was cousin Devin? Uh, Something oh, happened. I didn't tell Something, you guys. Yeah. Right. Something happened. I'll end, I'll and end I'm really, it. I'm really, I'm really, you know, I've been going to CS over 25 years. I've performed at CES. I've done mm -hmm. things for companies there. And first, the only thing I would get is that, well, why are you here? What's he doing here? I mean, yeah. they always look at, at, at my noise, especially, you know, us. Mm -hmm. And I hate to keep bringing it up, but then quit doing it. Um, why, why are you here? You yeah. always get that, why are you here? But they would ask if Robin Williams right, was there, but yeah. it, was, it was an incident. We, I've never had, and I wish I had been there to observe it, because I swear to God, I would, I would have lit in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'll end, I'll end the CES story with this. 
So we got there, uh, it was me, my cousin Devin, and we walk in, we got our badges. First off, we printed, they printed his badge first. I was press, so they sent me all the way down to the South Hall and had to walk all this, all this crazy. 900 way. miles to South Hall. Yeah, it was, it was a long walk, and, but like we were all in the system, we were all registered. Um, I just had to get my badge from there, and they sent me all the way over there. And so after we got that, the place wasn't open yet. Um, so then when, we, when it finally opened, we walk in, I would say probably about like five minutes um, after just walking in, two security guards walk up to us. They're like, oh, hey, gentlemen, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, hey, cool, we're good, we're good. They're like, all right, cool, uh, uh, we'll, uh, follow us, please. Yeah. And we're like, follow you, what, what for? And they're like, oh, um, our, we, we got a tip from our investigator um, that people, uh, there's some fake badges being printed this year. So yeah, we just wanted to, to talk to you guys. And I'll, we were like, well, okay, well, that we're, our badges aren't fake, so we, we just printed these. And they were like, okay, cool, cool, yeah, just come over here and, and let's talk. And we were just like, are you serious? So we went over there, because I, I wasn't trying to you know, start a scene, I wasn't trying to be that guy. So I would have been, 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 that, been <laughs> Star Wars but, trilogy Star Wars. Right, because right, I was like, let's just handle this in a yeah. quick manner, because I'm just trying to check out some stuff. Or maybe it's real. Maybe you, you always go like, well, maybe there's something that happened here. Yeah, something, yeah. I don't know. Cause they, cause they made it seem like people have been printing fake badges. You know, this has been, this has been a and thing. We're checking, we're we gonna check all kind of people. Yeah, exactly. But we just so happen to be the only younger looking black people and we get to the desk and he's like, can we see your badges? And we're like, okay, whatever. So give him the badges and he gives them to the people and they're like, Hey, so can you just look at these? Um, you know, we want to make sure they're legit. And luckily, there was this one woman who remembered us from literally about an hour earlier from us being there and registering. She was like, oh, no, 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 no. They were just here. They're in the system. They're good. They're good. And he's like, okay, well, you know, what about their badges? If you tell this, their badges. Yeah, but, but he, and she, she was like, they're no, good. they're fine. I don't get that. She yeah. said you're in the system. He, he couldn't let it go. Though, yeah. Right? And she was like, well, what's Just going like on? cops sometimes. And then man. they were like, well, our investigator. And I was just like, they're snitch. Who is this? Somebody yeah, walking around. Snitch. Somebody <laughs> walking around. I don't think they're supposed to be here. Yeah. So then this other woman came over, I guess, who was like in charge of that registration area. She looks at the badges and she was like, oh, well, what do you think? And she was like, oh yeah, these, these are probably fake. And we were like, what? And at that point I was like, if these are fake, then it's your fault because you printed them. We're in the system, so you guys are just printing fake badges for your own show, if that's the case. And she was like, oh, okay, well, hold on, let me take a look. Where did you print them? And I was like, oh, we printed them at the registration that's like, uh, you know, 10 feet from here. And she was like, well, what, what, uh, what was it in this building? And I was like, it's it's right over there. But you know where this is. You know where this building is. Don't pretend like now you don't know where all your registration tables are. Um, and she was like, all right, well, let me double check. And so she's looking at them. And then luckily, someone else who worked there looked at the badges and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, our printing system's been having issues. We've been, we printed a couple of badges that are like that. Um, because apparently, apparently, they're supposed to be like a CES logo at the top. And then on my cousin's badge, they didn't have that logo because of the misprint. So they, they were like, okay, well, let's test it. Let's reprint it. They reprinted them. Everything was fine. And they're like, oh, okay, well, here, sorry. Sorry for the mix up. And I was like, oh, well, I, I told you. I told you, like, we were legit. We got these badges here. And the guards were like, all right, well, can you tell us what the problem was so, you know, this doesn't happen again? And they're like, yeah, just look out for this logo. And they're like, all right, cool. And the, the guards just walked away, like, without saying sorry. So we're like, okay, well, whatever. Pump. And punk. You were punk. I felt the anger, I felt the anger yeah. rising, but I was like, let me chill. And it's funny because it's like, in my head, when stuff like that happens, I'm always like, I'm going to record it, I'm going to yeah. film it. Yeah. But the, 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 the rage that filled me in that moment, I like blank, I blanked out to the point where I didn't even think to hit record, I didn't think to do anything. I was just like, in that moment. Man, I've been like this. Just I'm at CES, what's your name, young lady? Right, exactly. Yeah, I've been coming down for what, exactly. 10 years with my father? Yeah. What, I, need, I needed somebody so? somebody behind me to do it, because yes. at that point, yeah. I was just, I was adamant on proving to them like how much they made a mistake. Um, more to where I didn't even, I didn't even think More to important that. in moments like this is when everybody needs a lightsaber. Yeah, that works too. A Jedi lightsaber ends all that bull crap. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, for, and the, the, the issue that happened was like minimal to the point where like, you really had to be looking at us. Think about it. If you walk that. by and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. Somebody said, Hey, what? Okay. This one go. Now let me go play devil advocate. Mm -hmm. Hey man, you know, your badge and business is, okay, well, let's go, let's go. Hey, we'll yeah. find out Cause now you find it was legit. Yeah. It printed wrong. It printed but wrong. But you should have never looked. Now look at you. Why would you let me leave? Mm -hmm. With a badge, but no, you thought anybody gonna, ain't nobody gonna mess yeah, with no, that badge. No, 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 no. And that's why I was telling my cousin, like, 
you know, because I am the lighter complexion, he is the darker complexion. Yep. And so I'm like, light skin, dark skin, it don't matter. We're it don't, black. bro. We are it don't black. Matter. We are black at CES. I wish I'd been, God, I wish I'd been so, there. We'd be doing this from jail. <laughs> Hi, we're doing our podcast from jail. Yeah. Send bad tickets, lightsaber out, chop the dude's arm off, right. but healed it with the heat so he wouldn't die. Exactly. So yeah. that was unfortunate. All my experiences at CES before that were always great. That was like yeah. one time where I'm like, now I don't, I, I got to look at y'all different. Yeah. Cause yeah, that was, that was, that was some shady stuff, but all right. yeah, that's what happened. But to bring this all back home, we're focusing on 2020. Yes. We're trying to get all this hate, all this anger away nope. until it comes back no. about no, I'm not, a week I'm later. I'm not trying to, <laughs> I, keep, I keep my anger right here. Yeah. I'm so, not letting it go away cause I'm not falling asleep. <laughs> well, there. Yeah, I'm not falling asleep. We'll, 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 we'll see tonight. Yeah, tonight, tonight you might fall asleep. The key, um, the thing is this. Uh, also, uh, just quick thing. January used to be a big month for us. When mm -hmm. he was young, and it finally started taking with me. You would have MacWorld, biggest convention. I, young people who never get a chance to go up. I feel sorry for you. Apple had, had their own convention in San Francisco. It's most incredible. It's like the CES, the NAM, the NAB. Of the, of the computer world. Mm -hmm. So in January, all the same, sometime in the same week, yeah. I would do CES, NAM, and, and Macro. I, I go, I fly from one other, I take a gym bag with the brochures from one, mm -hmm. ship them home, and go right to the other convention. It was, it was an amazing, January was an amazing time. A lot. A and then lot. you rest until April with the NAB show. Yeah, then you do it again, yeah. check out all the new film yeah. here, broadcast equipment. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. I think I'm adding the streaming show this year. The streaming show? You're going to do yeah, it? Yeah, I think about doing it. But you know what? I think most stuff I need to see is usually at NAB. Yeah, usually. Yeah, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so 2020 is here. Uh, yeah. Our plan is to do a lot more of these podcasts. We're yeah. more consistent with it. It's just hard because, you know, this guy. Has but it's a, not going to be hard because we're going to experiment. <laughs> so bear with us. We're going to experiment with different technology. Yeah. Now, there's high end where we can use the live view equipment. We're on the road. We got we got the the cellular bonded system that we can do stuff anywhere, but I also like to test it. What if a person doesn't have this? Mm -hmm. I always like to say, what if a person doesn't have what I have? Yeah. So we're gonna be testing all different kind of things. You just got a phone, got your iPad, got yeah. your computer. We're gonna work on all that stuff. Yeah. And a big thing, we're gonna st we want to start adding guests. Yes. Um, on the show, so we're gonna have guests. We're gonna figure out our guest list and all that stuff. Yeah. So if you if you're somebody cool who's down with it with the blurred life um, and yep. you want to uh, have a chance to be on the show, let us know. Um, cool. We'll try and see how we can make that work and see how, you know, working that with this guy's schedule we actually will is make it work. realistic. <laughs> you might and, be doing it early in the morning. <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll make that happen. Yeah. Um, but again, too, if you guys haven't bought your Sinbad pins, yep, yep. Um, definitely go to uh, at Blurred Empire on Instagram, click on our link, take you to the Blurred store and purchase those pins. Go, go. Uh, send us voice messages. It'll be linked at the end of this show um, in the podcast app, whatever podcast app you're listening to or uh, listening to, well, whatever podcast app you have open, go down to the bottom of our show notes, hit that link to send us a voice message. Let us know. Let us know what you want to hear. Yeah. Um, and if you, you got something, about, one thing is we're like, we're not just some podcast. You know, so many podcasts. There are. I'm like this, man. I want your stuff. Look, we can't possibly see all the technology out there. Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff out there. If you got something interesting, you've made something interesting. You've yeah, got a friend that made yeah, something sure. that's cool. I mean, we're open for all that, man. We want to yeah. talk about it. Talk. That's where the yeah. guests are going to be fun. Yeah, that's going to be talk really spice. fun. And you can be, don't even have to be from America, man. Right, exactly. Anybody. Man, anybody. Uh, we want to hear from you guys. We definitely want uh, to, to make this more of a collaborative effort with uh, the Blur community. And yeah, I think just make it more fun. Uh, 2020 resolution. Yeah. Um, I hear you're making a TikTok. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my, everyone look out for uh, Sinbad's TikTok. No, Royce, you all got to check his TikTok because he's, he's not a regular TikTok. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do TikTok, do it right like he did. I don't want to see more TikToks where, where a guy who just learned TikTok goes this. <laughs> my, music, uh, I hate that when you're just TikToking for no reason. If you, like, if you catch yourself like falling off a building and you catch that mm -hmm. before you hit the ground, yeah. that's a TikTok. That's a TikTok. That. Yeah, TikTok's frustrating. I got one. I did one. Yeah. They got like 47,000 views and I was like, cool. I made it. And then I did another one, only got like 10 views. So, so like, hey, you, you know, know what's coming I'm, from? I'm still figuring it out, but. Um, Cause they like the animation. The animation, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it was. So we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. see. But I'm um, curious to see what you're going to do on TikTok. That's going to be I'm going to violate people's privacy. <laughs> oh, okay. My TikTok is going to violate. <laughs> I'm going to catch you and TikTok you. I'm going to make you famous. You can catch you, you and want. TikTok you. Yeah, I'm catching TikTok land. <laughs> So watch out, everybody. You've been TikTok. Sinbad's coming to TikTok. Yeah. 
All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Blurred Empire or listening. I'm getting so confused. I got to figure out a better way to watching, listening, watch. No, no, watching, which, listening. Whistling. It's, it's whistling. Which, whistling. You watch and listen. Thanks for whistling to <laughs> Blurred <laughs> Empire. Listening. And, and Jar Jar Blinks. And Jar Jar Blinks. And we'll yeah. catch you guys in the next one. All Peace. Right. Peace. Peace out. Peace out.